Hey guys, if you're serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp12. You will receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses anywhere. So if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over my wish list for Madden 18 and what I think really needs to be improved. It's not much at all. Uh, starting off with this kick, uh, you see it says it was a high pass. Uh, I either get high pass or uh, under pressure or bullet pass on it. So what this tells me I feel is that the uh, the duress type thing is totally uh, flawed. Uh, you're going to see in these next videos where the quarterback is clearly running under pressure, something like that. Uh, see right here, no throw on the run. Throws it perfect. It does not get a throw on the run uh, error. Here, the guy is running around, throwing off his back foot under pressure and everything. Lobs it up and completes the pass. So like I said, if you look at these two plays, uh, or three plays in general, it, it says that the, uh, the under pressure, throw on the run type uh, penalty is is just not accurate because of these plays that consistently uh, happen you see here again we're gonna get him to scramble right into the face of the blitz and he gets no under the pr under pressure uh, or uh, you know any type of penalty for throwing it right into the defenders face or you know getting hit while he's throwing so what I think they need to do is just take this feature out because it's very arbitrary on whether they're going to say uh, if it's you know completely thrown on the run or uh, or under pressure it's not always accurate so just take it out because it even does it on the kick the second thing here is uh, fumble recoveries you see here I have two people three people around the ball and none of them get the uh, fumble recovery if you ever seen the video that I put out earlier in the year where I had eight guys around the ball to try and recover it and none of them did but their offensive lineman comes in uh, and recovers the fumble uh, so that needs to definitely be fixed or I mean honestly I would say take fumbles out of the game uh, or at least online take it out uh, because it's not very uh, the user can't do anything about that uh, so you know it's that's the issue uh, there you see there another sack the guy jumps on tries to jump with the ball but misses it completely for no for no stupid reason and and the offensive lineman recovers it and both of those fumbles are on critical third downs to try and get off the field um, but we can't recover it and they let the offense alignment which uh, is just totally unrealistic uh, offense alignment do not know that the ball uh, has been fumbled so they need to fix that and uh, and favor it more towards the defense if you get a fumble like that uh, especially a sack uh, in the backfield uh, with a guy diving right at the ball the next thing I think they need to fix is the wide receiver catching you see there we're dropping wide open passes um, even on defense you see here they lob it up um, and Mike Evans can't catch a, an easy ball thrown right to him um, here it's a it, it kind of makes sense that they drop it but they drop the ball as soon as you touch them all the defense has to do is breathe on the receiver and they're gonna drop the ball in this year's game so I think they need to fix that hopefully the frostbite engine actually does uh, or they need to tone back the ball physics uh, you see here they make that catch um, no animation uh, from the from the DB whenever you're, you're seeing but you see like I think it's it's just arbitrary the the catches because look at all these catches that are randomly made um, and then all the ones that are that are dropped uh, watch this one to Dallas Clark you're gonna see uh, should have been an easy catch but nothing happens uh, I mean he catches the ball and then he just drops it when the guy touches him so like I said hopefully the frostbite engine takes care of this and like this pass right here that should be a completion he catches it uh, in the NFL, they want to be realistic. They're going to catch that and tuck that ball away uh, and complete it. So it's very random when they do catch that high point pass to the tight end and when they don't. Uh, so it needs to be more consistent, uh, especially that type of catch. I can understand if, if a big hit and then they drop it. That's understandable, but all they need to do is breathe on the receiver or tight end and they're going to drop the ball in traffic, no matter if you have 99 catching traffic or not. But you see catches like this make it in triple coverage so like I said guys it's very very arbitrary on when they're gonna catch the ball and when they're not this is no one great not Randy Moss uh, but you see he catches the ball next is the block sheds uh, block sheds are very very overpowered this year and need to be toned down for next year uh, you see here the guys getting double team gets up and makes the tackle uh, very 
unrealistic, especially if you're getting double teamed. Uh, here, right here, no one, I scored a touchdown, but you see 71 didn't block anyone. Watch, I'm going to go back to it. And I should have been tackling the backfield. Watch a uh, 78, misses the block completely. Uh, don't, don't understand why that happens. Um, either they don't block, receivers do not block. Uh, and then uh, the the linemen always get block shed right off the back. You see there again, instant block shed. Uh, Should have been a wide open hole. Look at this hole open up between the uh, fullback and the guard. Look at that hole right there. That is an easy walk-in touchdown, but you see 74 gets instant block shedded, and he's able to make the tackle, uh, and I'm going to get down at the one-yard line when that should have been an easy walk-in touchdown. So that block shed type stuff needs to definitely uh, be fixed. Here again, you see the double team gets up and, and makes a tackle. That happens so often uh, in this year's game, and I'm sure a lot of people want that fixed. Uh, one of the biggest issues in running the ball this year because of the block sheds. And this is just another thing that gets on my nerves. My guy shoots the gap. The running back has no momentum, so I should, if anything, nail him with a hit stick. Uh, he should definitely not break that tackle. So I think that's just a minor issue. Uh, less broken tackles or get rid of battle ready, but that's just a little minor issue. Now, my biggest pet peeve in Madden 17 is the user play. Look here. I click on, hit triangle to try and pick it. No animation. Uh, that's the name I feel of the game is no animation. Uh, it's very, very hard to user this year. Uh, you see there again, you can clearly see I click the button to either swat or go for the pick and I just get no animation at all. There you see it's a swat, nothing happens, that's a swerve, but still, um, look at all these plays where I get no animation. I got a six foot six guy, doesn't jump. Uh, I just had so much issue with, with usering this year because I don't get an animation, especially when they throw it right at you. Uh, and it's very, very frustrating. Here you again, you see my guy doesn't even attempt. That could have been an easy pick and run the other way. Uh, but it doesn't animate. And it's very frustrating because they're throwing directly at you or you're jumping their route that you know that they want to throw to. And what a lot of people say is, oh, well, your user is terrible. Uh, you don't know how to use it. And that's not the issue. The issue is that they don't animate. You see there. I don't understand why Mike Evans did not try and pick the ball. He's six foot five, and any other Madden before this one, that would be a clean pick. Watch this. I'm sitting in the passing lane. I hit triangle, but he doesn't even put his hands up, and that's the issue that I feel needs to be fixed. Once again, here I click on try and strafe to get in the passing lane and just strafe and pick it. No animation. My guy just stands there like a dumbass. So those are my biggest pet peeves uh, for Madden 17. I believe if they get those uh, fixed, that it's going to be a great game. Um, those are the only issues I really found. Uh, the only thing I found wrong with Madden 16 was the aggressive catch. And I feel that's the only thing that was really wrong with Madden 16. Uh, Madden 17, they, they, they drop the ball when you sneeze on them. No animations. Overpowered block sheds. Um, Fumbles need to be recovered and too many drop passes with no animations on defense. Now, like I said, guys, they say they're going to the Frostbite engine. I do not know exactly what that is, but I'm hoping it fixes uh, these issues. Uh, those are my wish list things. The only other thing I would like to see in Madden 18 would be a running back uh, with a double juke chemistry. Uh, that's one thing I miss is the double juke. Uh, I was able to run the ball more effective doing that because I could make more than one person miss at once or make someone easily miss uh, in the open field. Uh, in Madden 18, you have to run him over and hopefully he breaks the tackle. Here's a video I actually made last year on why you wanted to double juke versus uh, doing the stiff arm or trucking. Um, you see, it takes a little bit of skill to get used to and learn, uh, but it's very, very effective to the right person who knows how to use it. Uh, and you can make multiple people miss. You see uh, here we have three people uh, about to make the tackle. Uh, and we hit them with a double juke. We make all three of them miss. And we're able to cut up the field and gain an extra 15 yards or so just by making them three miss um, off the double juke. Here you see again, you have one, two, three, four people about to be in the backfield. You hit them with a double juke. And we make all of them miss. Now, see, the reason I say they need to do it is because not everyone can do that. It actually takes... Uh, skill to to know how to double juke and that's why I think 
they should at least put it as a Kim next year um, and allow certain running backs uh, with high agility and juke move to, to do this. Because uh, I would definitely go out and get them um, and not even worry about battle ready or bruising back. Uh, any type of big backs like that, I would stick with uh, the agile backs because the double juke is, is so good, especially if you know how to use it. And when I had a guy like a juke like this, you see I always had a chance to hit a home run in the running game, especially um, if they're not good at usering, you, you always you know are, are in the opportunity. You see there, make three people miss for a touchdown. Uh, and that's impossible to do this year. Uh, and then last year, you see this type of stuff. Uh, you can do interceptions, double juke, double juke, and score, but you just cannot do that type of stick work uh, in this year's game. So hopefully they bring back uh, double juke next year, uh, at least as a Kim, like I said, um, and we can get something great again. I know this video is a little bit long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, and I hope you all want the same things that I want for Madden 18. Uh, be sure to check out Madden247.com, and if you want to get the full access guide, to Madden 18, it's in the description below. You're gonna get all the ebooks, weekly tips, and anything that I put out uh, all year long. You're gonna get constant updates on that as well. And if you'd like to support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you're also gonna be getting the best content that you're gonna find anywhere online for Madden.